It's a big day today. We have a new neighbor, and we're all very excited. Well, Jane and I certainly are. You ready? It's quarter to seven. What time does the film start? Half past seven. Okay. He's nice. He's very nice. But not good looking. He is good looking. Hmm. It's nearly ten to seven. Who's that? New neighbour. That's a nice car. I bet it's fast. That thing, no, it's slow. It's very expensive. It's cheap. Is it? Oh yeah, and it's horrible. Let's say hello. Now. Yes. Hello. Hi. I'm Helen. I'm Simon. And I'm Jane. Hi, Jane. Come in and meet the others. Okay. This is Matt. Hi, I'm Simon. Hello. And I'm David. Hi. Would you like some tea or coffee? Oh, yes, coffee, please. Matt, can you? What? Oh yeah, sure. Milk, no sugar. Right. Let me give you a hand. Have a seat. Thanks. So where are you from, Simon? Newcastle. David's from Manchester. Oh. I'm from London. I'm from Brighton. And Matt comes from Birmingham. What do you do? I'm a marketing assistant for McDougal's, the publishing company. I'm a drama teacher. David's a lawyer. And Matt runs a computer game shop. What about you? I'm a journalist. Really? Where do you work? I work in London for a sports magazine. Do you know Workout? Know it. I buy it. Really? <laughs> huh. Sometimes. <laughs> I hate being late for films. Biscuit. No. I go to the office most days, but on Wednesdays and Fridays I work from home. Here's your coffee. Oh, thank you. The film starts at 7.30? Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't realise... Oh, don't worry. The cinema's only ten minutes away. Come on, Matt. Let's wait in the car. Bye. 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 Nice to meet you. Tell us about your job, Simon. Oh, okay. <laughs> the film starts in quarter of an hour. Where are they? What do you do at weekends? I uh, play tennis, watch football, go to the cinema, go to clubs. Do you have a girlfriend? Jane? It's okay. No, I don't, actually. <laughs> More coffee? Jane? Hang on. I've got an idea. He doesn't have a girlfriend. He likes tennis. But he also likes football. And going to the cinema. It's David. The film starts in ten minutes. Say goodbye to your big, boring boyfriend and hurry up. Just a moment. Helen, it's David. I 
really like Simon. Unfortunately, Jane likes him too. But I'm not sure if David does. Breakfast is usually a quiet time in our house. But not always. Good morning. Good morning. What? Oh, sorry, morning. Where's Matt? In bed. Why? <sighs> he owes me ten pounds. Oh. He doesn't start work until one today. Oh, yeah. Okay, see you later. You need some breakfast. Have a slice of toast. Good idea. Can I? Thanks. Hey, it's my toast. Bye. Bye. Enjoy my breakfast. Hello? Matt, it's Jane. Hello? Matt, it's Jane. Hi. Listen, Matt, I need your help. I can't find my purse and it has my cash card and everything in it. I think it's in the kitchen. Could you look for it? Okay. Hold on. <laughs> Okay, I'm in the kitchen. Can you see it? No. Sorry. Is there anything on the table? There are some plates. There's Helen's mug, but no purse. How about on the work surfaces? I can't see it. There's only the newspaper. Could you look under it? Okay. I've got it. Oh, thanks, Matt. I was really worried. Can you put it on the kitchen table? I can pick it up later. OK. Bye. Bye. Tenant and Low, David Price speaking. Oh, David, thank heavens you're there. Jane, what's wrong? Everything. First I couldn't find my purse, so I couldn't get any money from the bank. And now I'm outside the house and I can't find my keys. Where's Matt? He was at home before, but he's not here now. I can't get away at the moment, but I'll try to come back in about 20 minutes. Is that okay? 
That's brilliant. Thanks, David. No problem. See you later. Bye. Are you okay, Jane? Oh, Simon. Hi. What's the problem? I don't have my keys. They're in the house. But I think I can get in through that window. No, you can't. It's too dangerous. I'll do it. Okay. Thanks. Be careful. <laughs> Hi, Jane. Hi, Matt. Matt? Where were you? I was here. Couldn't you hear me? Sorry. It's okay, Simon. Matt's here. He was at home all the time. You can come down now. No, I can't. I think I'm stuck. Hello, Simon. You're right. No, I'm not. Oh dear. Can somebody help me, please? David and Matt rescued Simon in the end. But we didn't see Simon for a few days after that. I think he was a bit embarrassed. favourite bar is Freud's. We go there a lot, especially on Friday and Saturday evenings. Thanks, Matt. Cheers. What time are Helen and David coming? Half past eight. Right. Hey, guess what? I saw Simon last week. Really? That isn't very strange. He lives next door. Oh, ha ha. Very funny. No, I saw him in here. He has very good taste. You know, I think he really likes... Oh, no. What's wrong? But the bar, don't look. Who? Hi, Danny! How are you? How are you? Who is she, Matt? She was my girlfriend. <laughs> really? Really. How long were you together? A month. Only a month? It was a very long month. Right. When did you last see her? About three years ago. She moved to London. But she sometimes rings me at work. So she still likes you? Unfortunately, yes. Matt! <gasps> oh, Jane, help! Matty, how marvellous! Deb. <laughs> how long is it? Three years. You still have beautiful eyes. <laughs> You are happy to see me, aren't you, Matty? Hello. My name's Jane. Sorry? Uh, Jane is my... Fiancé. Pleased to meet you. Fiancé? I didn't know you were engaged. Didn't you? When did you get engaged? About six, six months ago. Six weeks ago. Months ago. <laughs> Where did you meet? On the internet. At a club. 
We met in a chat room on the internet, and then we met face to face at a club. Yeah, uh, right. Yes, that's right. <laughs> it was at a club. And we fell in love, didn't we, Matt? Yes, we did. I was very shy at first, but Matt was wonderful. And when did you get engaged? On the 18th of March. Uh, no, it was on the 19th. Don't you remember? Oh, yes, you're right, darling. <laughs> Where's the ring? Sorry? Didn't you buy an engagement ring? For Jane? He did. I did? I did. But I don't wear it. Because it's a secret. Nobody knows we're engaged. Now, who wants a drink? No, thank you. Same again, please, darling. Matt, I can't believe it. You're engaged. I thought that... Yeah, sorry about that, Deb. Don't tell anybody about Jane. It, it is a secret. Oh, no. What is it? Look at Matt. He's with Deb. Poor Matt. He really didn't want to see her again. Yeah, poor Matt. Come on, let's go and help him. David? He needs our help. Hello, Deb. How are you? Hello, uh, Helen. Hi. Hi. Did you tell Deb our news? What news? <laughs> Matt, really? Matt and I are engaged. <laughs> what is it? Hi, everybody. What's the matter? Is something wrong, darling? So, you're engaged to Matt, and... Jane is... Jane's with me. But I thought... Uh, would anyone like a drink? Jane and I told Matt it's okay to have two fiancés, but he can only marry one of us. David's preparing a romantic dinner for his girlfriend, Julia. Unfortunately, he isn't the world's most confident cook. What is it? It's Thai chicken with chilli. Mmm, I like Thai food. Look, Julia will be here soon. Aren't you going out? It's not very hot. What do you mean? I put lots of chilli in it. Here, let me. I'll get that. Matt's right, it needs more chilli powder. There it is, Julia. Hold on. Julia's already at the station. She's early. Matt, no! Hey, give that to me. What's wrong? I put some more chilli powder in. So did I. Mmm. Too hot. Of course it's too hot. Julia can't eat this and she'll be here in quarter of an hour. You can't cook anything in 15 minutes. Jane can. She's a fantastic cook. Matt, Jane isn't here. Then phone her. Sorry. 
sorry. Sorry. Hello? Jane, it's Helen. We need your help. What's wrong? Julia's coming to dinner and Matt ruined David's delicious Thai chicken. Oh, dear. Well, can you think of something? Is there any pasta in the cupboard? Pasta, pasta. Yes, there's some pasta. How much is there? Half a kilo. That's plenty. What about tuna? There are two small tins. Matt, are there any mushrooms and onions? Yes, there are. We've got everything. OK, Matt, boil some water. Can I do anything? It can't be her. It's only ten to eight. Don't worry, we can do this. What next? David, go! This is nice. Here, sit down. Would you like some wine? Yes, please. Why don't you sit down? I can't. First course. Oh, good. I'm really hungry. Fry the onions. Yep. Mmm. That was delicious. What's the main course? I can't wait. Uh, it's a surprise. Oh. Have some more wine. Thank you. I had a really busy day today. Didn't have time for lunch. It's lovely to be here and have a quiet dinner and simply relax. I'll just get the main course. Great. Here you are. Thank you so much. Thank Jane. Jane? Hi. Jane, you're wonderful. No problem. Exciting. What is it? It's called Pasta a la Julia. Mmm, <gasps> smells very good. Oh, hang on. I forgot the salad. This is much nicer than a restaurant. It's more romantic. And is the food better too? <laughs> Possibly. Absolutely delicious. Can you give me the recipe? The recipe? I can, but... Um, but what? It's a family secret. <laughs> oh, David, really? <laughs> Matt, Jane and I did a good job for David. Maybe we could open a restaurant. On a boat. You're joking. No, really. Jane's sister, Alison, is staying for the weekend. She's going to an engagement party for Tom and Zoe, two old friends of hers. Sounds like fun. What are you going to wear? I bought a new dress. It's really lovely. Can we see it? Sure. Oh, oh that's beautiful. Do you really think so? You're going to look fantastic. Oh, thanks. Oh, gosh, I've got to get a move on. Where are you going? I'm going into town to buy a present for Tom and Zoe. What are you going to get them? Oh, I've no idea. Something romantic. See you later. Bye. Bye. What are you doing? Nothing. Hi. Hi. Is that another new dress? It's not mine. Whose is it? 
It's Alison's. It's quite nice. Quite nice. It's wonderful. What's it made of? Matt, watch that ball! Oh, no! No good, I'm afraid. The stain's not coming out. What am I going to do? Alison's going to be really upset. Buy another dress? What does the label say? New York, Paris, Milan. I think it's very expensive. Why? Never mind. OK, let's go and get another dress. All of us? This is an emergency, Matt. Okay, Jane, you go with Matt, take the shops on the left. I'll go with David, we'll take the shops on the right. Have you got all the details? Hi, everyone. Alison. Oh, hi. What's she doing? We're, um... We're planning our shopping. Okay. See you back at the house. Yeah, right. Bye. Bye. Have you got your mobiles? Good luck. Any news from Jane and Matt? No. This is hopeless. What about this one? It's too small. This one looks bigger. It's the wrong kind of white. The wrong kind of white. David, look. That dress is almost exactly the same as Alison's. Excuse me. Oh, no. She's going to buy it. Hang on. Can I help you? Yes. Can I try this on, please? Excuse me. I don't think it's white enough. I'm sorry? I think this one's much better. Oh. Really? Yeah, really. It's very nice. Can she try it on? Oh, uh, yes. The changing room's up there. I'll take it. Phone the others. OK. How much is it? £250. Can I pay by American Express? Of course. Jane? We got one. Yes, we're going home now. See you later. Wow, that's perfect. How much was it? £250. £250? It's Alison. Hi. Hi. What's wrong? Uh, I had an accident with your dress, so I bought another one for you for tonight. Oh, thank you. It's almost the same as yours. Oh, this dress is much more beautiful. It's gorgeous. The other one only cost ten pounds. Ten pounds? Yes. I got it secondhand from a charity shop. Next time, Helen, forget Paris, Milan and New York. Let's straight for a charity shop. On Sunday mornings, we usually just sit around and read the papers. It's so relaxing after a busy week. This is good. A weekend in Barcelona, including flights and hotel, £120. That's cheap. I went to Barcelona about three years ago. Did you have a good time? It was brilliant. The food was wonderful and the nightlife. How long did you stay? For a week. We stayed in a four-star hotel. We? Oui. Who did you go with? A friend. Have you ever been to Barcelona? No, I haven't. Here's another one. Paris, 
£190. Paris is fantastic. I went there when I was a student. I went when I was at school. So romantic. So you've been to Paris too, then? Of course I have. Where else have you been? Rome. Prague. I love Prague. New York. New York's great. What about you? Where have you been, Matt? Well, nowhere. Nowhere. I've been to Scotland. That's astonishing. Do you mean to say you've never been abroad? Only Scotland. You poor thing. Why don't you go to Barcelona? It's really cheap. And you haven't had a holiday this year. No, oh, I went home to Birmingham. Birmingham's not exactly exotic. Why don't you go? No reason. How about next weekend? Well, I could do, I suppose. Come on. Let's book your ticket. All right. How? On the internet, of course. <laughs> there. Flight JM514 to Barcelona. Friday the 23rd of May at 9 o'clock in the evening. Check in at 7.30. What do I do between half past seven and nine o'clock? You get your boarding pass and you wait in the departure lounge. Hang on. Haven't you ever flown before? No. I've never been on an aeroplane. Actually, I'm a bit... Uh, Nervous? Terrified. Oh, Matt. Don't be silly. Flying's really exciting. What about this one? That was a holiday in LA. I had a girlfriend there. How long, um... We were together for about six months. No, I mean, how long did the flight take? About ten hours. Ten hours? What did you do for ten hours? Watch films, ate, slept. Anyway, your flight's only two hours. Have you packed yet? No, I haven't. It might be a good idea. All oh, right. Have you packed everything? <sighs> yes, I have. Passport? Yes. Suntan cream? Yes. Your toothbrush? I've packed everything. <sighs> have you phoned for a taxi yet? I did it 15 minutes ago. That's it. Well, go on. Where are you off to? Barcelona. Oh, have fun. <laughs> have a great time, Matt. Thanks. Bye. Bye. Adios. Bye. Hasta la vista. Safe journey. Hello? No, I haven't. That's impossible. I've just taken it out of my pocket. I've got it here. Oh, no. I've taken yours.
Matt had a wonderful time in Barcelona. And the flight? He loved it. In fact, he's thinking about taking flying lessons.